Hey, it's Bob here, and today I've got a challenge for you. We're going to build a finger picking pattern around the song Horse with No Name. There's five levels. So, level one being rank beginner, as if you've never played before, all the way up to level five, which is intermediate. The challenge is what level are you going to get to? This is string one, two, three, four, five, and string six. And for this first part, we're, on, we're only on string six, and we're plucking with our thumb. All right, we're going to pluck two open notes, okay, the E string, two times. One, two. And then what we're going to do with our middle finger is go up two frets. It's got to be the middle finger, and we're going to pluck that two times. So the whole pattern sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're playing on beats one and three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, we're going to add a couple more notes to each measure. All right, so in measure one, we played one, nothing, three, nothing. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a note on the two and the four beat. And that's going to be two frets up on the fourth string with our ring finger. It has to be the ring finger. I'm going to count this out first. One, two, three, four. This is just measure one. All right. So it's string six, four, six, four. All right. And then measure two, we were we were doing this. One, two three, four. Now we're going to add a note to this, and it's going to be an open D note, open fourth string. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four, six, four, six, four. It's so all thumbs as well. Six, four, six, four. Counted one, two, three, four. All right, so if we play both of these together, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. String six, four, six, four, six, four, six, four. All right, that was easy enough, but now what we're going to do is we're going to add one note in each measure. One more note, but that note, each one of those notes, is very, very tricky. In music, there's two basic types of rhythm. There's square rhythm and there's swing rhythm. So anything that has a swing feel to it, like Horse With No Name, the downbeats remain the same. It's the offbeats that are delayed. So instead of one and two and three and four and, it's one and two and three and four and. Now that tricky note that I was telling you about, that's a swing note. So let's go ahead and do that now. At this point, we're going to want to form the full chords in case you want to strum this song, and I will show you that too later on. Uh, let's first get the chords. For measure one, it's an E minor chord. Easy chord. Two frets up with your middle finger on the fifth string, and two frets up with your ring finger on the fourth string, like so, E minor. And for measure two, the chord is an F sharp minor chord, 
two frets up with your middle finger on the sixth string and two frets up on the third string with your ring finger like so alright and basically the whole song we're going to be changing back and forth between those two chords and that's it <laughs> So the tricky note comes in on the AND of two. We're going to add just one note, and this is on measure one, okay? So I'll show you where we're going to add it. It's going to be right here, the AND of two. One, two, AND, three, four. With our index finger, we're plucking string three. One, two, AND, three, four. Holding down an E minor chord. One, two, AND, three. Hope you're trying that with me. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. By the way, that was string six, four, three, six, four. Six, four, three, six, four. And then for the F sharp minor chord, same same uh, same exact pattern on the right hand. It's string six, four, three, six, four. Just forming this chord. Two frets up, six string, two frets up, third string. Six, four, three, six, four. Counted one, two, and three, four. So let's just go back and forth between those two chords, because that's what the song does anyway. Pay attention to when I'm changing my, putting my fingers down, okay? I'm not changing all at once, all right? Just watch my fingers here, besides trying to get the pattern down, too. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. Did you ever read the words of this song? I mean, it's like some guy that's trying to escape reality and he goes out to the desert. Apparently he doesn't like water. It's the desert and no water, that's probably not a good idea. Then he meets up with some horse and he's out there for quite some time and, well, I know he made it, but I don't know if the horse made it. So what I did was I rewrote the words a little bit. This is what the words should have been. After two days in the desert sun, my skin began to turn red. After five days in the desert sun, the horse with no name was dead. La, 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 la. We're going to add another and note, and it's on the and of three. Just work on measure one to start with. We're going to be hitting the second string with our middle finger, okay, on the and of three. So it's one, two, and three, and four. It's the and of three. One, two, and three, and four. Strings six, four, three, six, two, four. Yes, this is Travis picking, okay, but with the swing notes, it's got a little bit of a spin to it. It's the same exact pattern, same exact strings with the F sharp minor chord. So it's six, four, three, six, two, four. Six, four, three, six, two, four. Let's go real slow and play uh, measures one and two. Let's loop that together. Measure one, six, four, three, six, two, four, six, four, three, six, two, four, six, four, three, six, two, four, six, four, three, six, two, four. One more time, six, four, three, six, two, four, six, four. Six, two, four. 
going to add a note, one more note to this pattern, and it's on the and of four. It's the very last note of the, each of the measures. It's the same exact pattern for both chords, all right? So for the E minor, let me just call it out, and that last note is the and of four, and it's with your index finger plucking the third string. All right, so it's, let me call out the strings. Six, four, three, six, two, four, three. All right, six, four, three, six, two, four, three. All right, let me count out the, uh, count it out. One, two, and three, and four. So, same thing, same strings on the right hand, same picking pattern for the F sharp minor. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, ring finger off of the third string at the very end. Watch my finger here. Same picking pattern, same strings. Six, four, three, six, two, four, three. And the reason why we're doing that is it's going to be easy to get to that E minor chord at that point. And then we have an open note. Any time that we could use an open note as our last note when we're making chord changes, they come out very smooth. Okay? So let me play um, just loop measures one and two back and forth. And this is how the whole song goes anyway. Six, four, three, six. Six, four, three, six, two, four, lift, six, four, three, six, two, four, three, 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 six. All right. So that's the whole thing. Hopefully now that you understand about the swing notes and how you have to play them a little differently when they come in, I thought I'd show you a uh, simple strumming pattern for this. You could either use a pick, you could use your thumb to strum, or you could use the back of your fingernails like, like this, like you're holding a pick except you're not. All right, so I'll do it that way for this demonstration. So on the E minor, just go down, down, up, down, down, up. And keep it in that swing rhythm. For the F sharp minor, you could use the same, same uh, down, down, up, down, down, up. But there's many variations that you can do. Um, for both of those chords, you can go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and so on and so forth. But I just wanted to show you that simple rhythm pattern that they basically use for this song. In the comments area below, let me know which level you think you're going to get up to. Level one, two, three, four, or five. I know you've got to practice this. Let me know which level you think you're going to get to. If you want to work with the sheet music, just go right here. I'll see you in the next video.